Welcome back to this tutorial series on Streamlit. We are currently on part five where we're going to be working with media elements such as displaying logos, images, videos, and audio. We'll start off with a logo. Now this is actually a great little package if you guys wanted to know. It's just Streamlit auto refresh. It just will auto refresh every four seconds for a thousand or you can leave it as none but keeps me from going over there and refreshing all the time so a logo element is as it sounds it's just the logo for the page i just used the youtube logo but you can define any logo and then a link and it will then send you to that link if you click the logo next up we have image elements a lot like logo all the logo links have to abide by the same rules as the image elements uh, now we have a image as you can see it will give you the image i just did a nice photo of the mountains and then you can give it a caption and then uh, use column width if you have a layout basically it will abide by those column widths next up we have video videos are like all of them and the fact that you basically just define a path or a URL to the video. The nice thing also, it gives you a start time. So this will start at timestamp three seconds. Here it comes. And as you can see, if I hit play, the start time will be at three seconds. Finally, we have audio a lot like the other ones, but you define the format. So audio and MP3, and then you can also define a start time. So that's it for media elements. Up next, we have chart types which will start to get more interesting and more advanced topics will be to come and then we'll start building some apps i guess i'll see you next time <music>